Now that the serial disappearance case has been solved, you decide to rest up for a while. But something, something is stirring in the dark. Or Legino perhaps? Let's find out. And I'm hoping it's our Legino bro. Okay? Although it could officially You're getting be right into it. Oh my god. Conference. I didn't expect I this. I to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina? Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Lady Farina? Holy shit, bro. Uh, she looks oh, evil <laughs> as fuck. Yes, yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> According to reports from the Fortress of Meripede, child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Wait, disappeared? The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the Fortress of Meripede. Okay, so... Special guards oversee the What the, the fuck fortress, happened? ...and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape should not be possible. I suspect that there's something else behind Charles' Wait, disappearance. Wait, did he fall into the abyss again? Could that be possible? I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meripede and investigate Child's disappearance. All right, leave it to us. This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. Linny! Wait, what the fuck? Why is Linny here? <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, you really scared me there. I oh, didn't expect to see you here, okay. Uh, your okay. grace. What the fuck? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I was so tired wait. from work that I was starting to see things. I have a clue. I know why Linnea is here. I'll let Gino send him. That's the only reasonable explanation. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. <gasps> Told you so. See, Paimon guessed right. As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. A secret? Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. Hmm. Nighty night, traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. Okay. Wait. What? The vision is activating. Huh? I hear someone calling me. the fuck is happening? Are we dreaming about what child went through here? Okay, this is the fighting club, I guess. What? Are you awake, traveler? Yeah. Hmm? What's wrong? You seem to have something on your mind. Did you dream about something Yeah, last night? I was child. Is that even possible? Unless it wasn't an ordinary dream? Maybe child had the same dormitory. This whole time? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours. Yeah, maybe I can use his vision to see everything he experienced.
something is calling me. I have to go. Traveler, come on, wake up! I saw child. Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping, the Paimon. Well, what did you say? Investigating the pipes was the right call. Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. Out of respect for your usual practices, I'll use a piece of paper or card as the medium to pass on my message. You may consider this as me giving you my best regards. What? This is... Is... is that all? Is there anything on the back? The back? Huh. This... this is... Show me. Now! <laughs> that, that look on your face! P Paimon's reading it now! Would you care to guess where Miss Lynette of the Fatui could be what? right now? No! Could she have... Is she already... Risley... Did he deliberately leave the infirmary unguarded to use it as bait? <laughs> what do you really want? And we're here as well. Oh, wonderful. Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating with me. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the fortress's finest tea. Although, as per your original plan, Mr. Fremenet should also have returned to the fortress by now. But he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So where do you think he may be right now? Wait, you can't mean... You locked him outside in what? the sea? I closed the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. Uh, Fremen is a star diver, so he should be fine, right? No, we're still here, so he'd definitely try to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. But why would I do this, you may be asking? To have an audience with you, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician, so it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to Holy shit, bro. Besides, I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede, regardless of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Holy shit, bro. Well, you got this man, wish. he outsmarted us. So, you've been keeping tabs on us before we even set foot in the fortress. I'll ask you three questions. Answer all of them correctly, and I'll agree to your request. Question one. Regarding the hidden rules of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? What the fuck? The hidden rule of the production zone. Okay, we are back People with the glasses and the moustache. three days in a row, and if they do, they'll get strange meat in their welfare meal. At first, we thought this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared. But in reality, they were all prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. Right. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. Out of her sense of duty as the head nurse, as well as her genuine concern for the workers' health, Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch and cooks an extra dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Sijuin has only the best intentions with her surprise gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. However, unfortunately, Melazines as a race perceive the world differently from humans and their sense of aesthetics is even more alien to us. The recipients of her lovingly prepared special meals cannot taste the care within and usually just freak out. Are we on the right track? <laughs> Not bad. You've uncovered Sijuin's secret and even guessed her intentions correctly as well. It's nice to know that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged. Okay. All right. Next question. next question. Let's hear it. There are also some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support both sides of a fight. Why is that? That hidden rule of the Pancration Ring is about how um 
people are not supposed to bet on both boxers at the same time. And if they do, they'll receive a package containing a strange blood-colored liquid. People get scared when they see it because they've subconsciously begun to associate it with the missing boxer. But really, it's just a bottle of the latest yet-to-be-named and packaged new Fanta trial product. A blood-red drink. It's no wonder even Fanta's own staff were questioning the company's <laughs> decision. <laughs> okay, making. makes sense. The company, facing backlash from its own staff, decided to try to trial the product on a smaller scale to see how it might be received by customers. They came to the Fortress of Meropede and offered to sponsor the Pancration Tournament so they could push their new product. But the Duke completely refused to even entertain the idea. The Duke, knowing how valuable coupons are in the Fortress, knew that only total idiots who didn't understand their true value would bother buying a Fanta product here. And so, only those who proved their stupidity by being dumb enough to bet on two opposing sides of the same match were selected to receive okay, well, the drinks. Okay, well, just well. I acknowledge the effort you've put into bringing the truth of this mystery to light. Although, based on your description, that Fanta promoter is a bit too careless with his words. I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. All right, and here's the final question. What's the secret behind our head nurse and all of her patients in the infirmary? Okay, I don't think we know that. Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley. You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question. The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremen never even crossed your mind. You'll pay for this? <laughs> What happened? Lenny, are you all right? Oh, close one. I owe you well, Sejuani. Okay. That was a fantastic shot. It was nothing, Your Grace. Sejuani? Though this gun may look like a toy, it's actually fully functional, as I just demonstrated. And what the fuck? What a huge ship? This is also a production zone that Paimon's never seen before. What's going on? How much do you know about Fontaine and history? I... Uh, not much at all. Well, then maybe you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. To give you a quick rundown, Fontaine used to be ruled by the or Lemurian, Lemurian dynasty. dynasty. According to legend, the Lemurian king Remus came to this land after being inspired by divine revelation and found the seer Sibylla, who had taken on the form of a golden bee. Taking the golden bee with him and riding on a huge ship, the Fortuna, he created his nation above the surging waves. Okay. He called his nation Lemuria, and used the Fortuna to incessantly search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. There's a ship in this story too? Where there's water, there'll be ships. People believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. Do you believe that too? To a point, I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor, materials, and technology at my disposal. Certainly can't hurt to give it a try. So the moment I began to speculate that the primordial sea might lie underneath the gate, I also began this project. Were you inspired by the legendary Yeah, Fortuna? looks like it. Mm, maybe. Fontanians need something to hold on to to cope with the impending disaster. So this is a plan for the ages. Were the workers to find out the truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make such a reckless call. All right, that's enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? They're here. Is it breaking? Just like I said. <sighs> okay. Is the primordial water time. coming out? But be ready to run. Holy <sighs> shit. It's starting to come out.
That was so sudden though. Oh! Wow! Oh my god! Wow, he froze all the primordial water. Oh no, he didn't. Run, run, run. What the fuck do we do? Three, two, one. Oh wow, okay. So we are closing all the gates. Let's right, run. Oh my god, okay, that was so close. Holy shit, bro. This won't hold it for long. Find Nuvilet. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. Okay. Run, run, run. Quick, quick, quick. The gate. How long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. Hold on. The water in the teacup is shaking. I suppose this is also a sign of things to come, Miss Farina. Huh? Uh, I don't quite understand what you're trying to say. Have we entered into the next stage? Oh, yeah, that we have. <laughs> My thanks to you both. I okay, will take it from show us your true form, bro. <laughs> show us your true form. Turn into a dragon. Sure, you don't need a hand? Quite sure. Okay. Wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. Dragon! Nah, who knows. Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. <laughs> okay, let's right. see it, bro, let's see it. I am hyped! Nivellet A day may come when the prophecy is fulfilled and the waters burst forth. But it is not this day. Oh what this the power fuck? Could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. Holy shit, bro, what the fuck is this power? <sighs> what? He sealed it again. The sentence is too severe. Forgive me for overruling it. Wow, okay, okay. Wow. Just wow. Miss Farina, as the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. Or should I say, that's what I originally thought. But looking at your expression... Yeah, she doesn't have a was clue. I wrong? Because she isn't a clue? the true Archon. What are you trying to say? I've been saying this since 4.0. At this point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know the prophecy by heart, and also that every part of it is being proven true. Yet, here you are relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. Do you really think that's no. acceptable? The prophecy's hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking for a way to either avert the disaster or save their own. Even the orphans of the House of the Heart have devoted everything to saving their homeland. But you? It beggars belief just how nonchalant and carefree you have been. 
From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, you have utterly failed okay, to take Okay, so she's action. literally calling her out. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures. I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same thoughts right now. Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? I have my ways. And I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down upon me, you have no right to judge me. Fontaine will be saved. Even... even if I still cannot see the true future right now. As long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high. Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? Yeah, true, okay. Where can even I want to know. It and what is it doing to help? <sighs> I... My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves... Now it's starting to sound like a time. load of BS. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable to perceive them as of yet. Mm, I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. Allow me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential? Such as your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? Bro, she doesn't have a plan. Uh, an emergency response plan? Oh, that look in your eyes. Have you not even prepared one of those? The, the emergency response plan Oh my god, bro. Is oh my god. strictly confidential. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal? And what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of Indemnidium that has accumulated over the years? The Oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to be. Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare for something. But unfortunately, it would seem that someone is not you, Miss Farina. I mean, I, first I do agree with, with whatever she is saying. tried to investigate the Oratrice in the Opera House. You see, even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnidium. But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be working on, oh great Hydro Archon? Oh. Right. I almost forgot. Udex Nouvellette is not at the tea party with us today. Miss Farina, I suppose you must have ordered him away to take care of some troublesome business. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, that's exactly right. Please keep it a secret for me. Of course I will. Although, I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure without the Udex yeah, by that's your true. side. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more true, like a celebrity true, true. Oh than my a god, bro, that is archon. so true. I've been saying oh, this for come so over long. Here, you little critter, you. You dare to run from me? Stop bro, right what the fuck? My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. That's one way of looking at it. It's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. 
The hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. All right. In fact, this Archon doesn't yeah, seem she like doesn't. a god at all. And I sense that she's under some kind curse. of curse. Wait, what? Who are you? And, and what are you trying to do? Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you, please. The fear in her pupils is genuine. So perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Farina dares not mention this incident to anyone. Of not course she after. won't, bro. Of my course she won't. She's a celebrity. She after has a reputation to look out for. Farina quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps you did. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I've been saying, bro. That's Oracle. what I've been saying. I have to find the Gnosis. If the Nuvillette hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. <laughs> they just acknowledged each other and then Nevette? went their ways. Is it over? For now, yes. It can't be that you're the real Hydro Archon, right? But that's All right. just a speculation answer. on our Please part, answer girl. this question. <laughs> you can't Bruh, what tell the us? fuck? Then, then no. That's, okay. that's not okay. About something else, we won't try to force you. <laughs> You guys in Fontaine are super strange. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. Huh? Why is it raining? Okay, my man sudden? is sad again. You can't be. Let's get the confirmation. Finally, he is the dragon. You may be closer to the truth than you <laughs> think. <laughs> Let's oh? go. Wait, thinking? he's a sovereign dragon? I thought that he was just some dragon, but not a sovereign uh, dragon. Dragon of. Uh, what? Huh? Please do not be so surprised. Bro, what the fuck? I didn't expect him to be the sovereign dragon. I just expected like Farina? some some random dragon. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the dragon sovereign of water. Bro, right? confirm something, please. Well, if you don't want to confirm or deny. You guessed correctly. Thank you. I sincerely hope you'll be able to keep this a secret for me. Sure. Uh right, of course. We'll definitely help you keep it a secret. There's Still something Paimon wants to ask you, though. Please, go ahead. Well, if you are the Dragon Sovereign of Water, and you were able to force back the Primordial Sea from the fortress, then since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? None of the currently living Dragon Sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full All dragon. right, makes sense. They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. Oh, so that is how the Archons got Archons their power. And seven matching dragon sovereigns. The dragon sovereign of water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. As their successor, I know far less of that part of our ancient history. In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Oh, so even you can't solve it. Okay, so I still have theoretically, some urgent if Furina were to, to disappear, office, considering that she is the true Archon, if Furina were to history, disappear, then you will let can resolve this crisis. Time.
Wait, he is drowning in the primordial water. And wait, whale? Is that the whale? Holy shit, bro, it's huge. Holy shit, bro. That was huge.